pum pum pa tsk pum pum pa pum pum pa tsk pum pa pum pum pa tsk pum pum pa pum pum pa tsk pum pa pum pum pa tsk pum pum we go to teach in lots of places where there's no music where we, and we don't have a boombox or there's no power but we don't stop the classes we teach them how to beatbox pum pum pa tsk pum pa we get those people who have no skill in life and we give them a free skill and that's break dancing. My name's uh, Techa Abraham, also known as Abrams. I'm 25 years old. I'm a b-boy and a rapper. Ti minutter uden for Kampalas centrum ligger Sharing Ungdomscenter. Der underviser Ugandas eneste breakdancer, børnesoldater, hivsmittede og gadebørn i headspin og hurtigt fodarbejde. Breakdancing is not the main thing. It's not like it's not the biggest thing. But the big, the most important thing is what we achieve through breakdance and hip hop. That's why it, it's like a magnet. We use it as a magnet that attracts all the people and then it brings them together. Abrams missed som syvårig begge sine forældre. Og som forældreløs blev rap og breakdance det, der gjorde ham glad og fik ham til at tro på, han havde en fremtid. We, we, we lived in slums and ghettos for, uh, for a long time. We didn't get, have a chance to pursue uh, like our um, formal education, so this is all we had. I watched Breakdance the movie in like 1990, 1991, and I was really fascinated by the moves. And I was like, oh, can really, can, can a son of mine really do that? Abrams learned to break it to music videos for an TV. Trinne, he learned it himself at home on the floor. He took him with him when he visited his friends in the slum. It was the start of the Breakdance project. We used to go to ghettos and slums and. We were teaching and we just did it because that's how we felt like sharing our skills and talents with other people, you know, giving them the right direction to follow. So I love it so much, like it's um, because this is this is the platform to me. I've all, I grew up longing for a platform where everyone could be equal, regardless of w which tribe you're from, which religion, what, how much your dad earns or how much you earn or how you look. You know, I, I was, that was my dream, and right now I'm happy that you know we have that platform whereby, if if everyone walks in there, then we're equal. Here are some of the basics for breaking. Your right leg steps in front, your arms spread. When you bring it back, you cross them. When you step with the left one, they still spread. When you bring it back, you cross them. And this is how it looks when it's fast. If you look at break dancing here, it's um, it's something that you you don't you don't you don't you can't really get if you don't have the love for it, you know. Because we don't have teachers here. We don't have we we don't have the material. We don't have. Uh, it's not there. The 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 culture is not there. You know, we're just trying to build, build, build it. My name is Abdul Moingo. I'm 22 years. I'm one of the co-founder members of Breakdance Project Uganda. Abdul has danced his whole life, and as like many of the children he now dances with, he has grown up in a poor family. He uses his own story to help children. It's not that we are we are from rich families or something like that. We are also from we also have problems back home. You know, it's, this is Africa. You know, everyone is not like really, really in the best position. But as long as you're happy, that's 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 what life. You know.
we decided that everyone can come around even if you don't we don't know where you come from as long as you really want to learn so because we know break dancing takes a, takes time i mean it can take their time during the day because if the, there's if the place is there then they have to practice you know you practice this move and then the other day you really want to be good so you have to keep on practicing you don't have time to go and look for the for the drugs i mean use the drugs So step one, this the, the leg and this arm go at the same time. One, and then two, and then three, four, five, six. So let's do it a little faster. <laughs> the first day, we had three. Yeah, the first day there were only three, but now we have over 70. If you look at the background of the children, many of them are, are, are kids that don't have where to, where, where to sleep. I mean, the kids that really, really don't have what to do at all, kids don't, that, go, that don't go to school. So, kids that have been through a lot because if many people come around for free, we don't charge anything. So they just come around. Some people, we don't know, we don't know them, but we know them not until they come, they come for the classes. So, they come like brothers, they become brothers. So, we, we, they tell us about their history, and then we tell us about our, our history, you know. En af de mange, der har fundet frem til breakdance-timerne, er Douglas på 11 år. For to måneder siden blev han løsladt fra et ungdomsfængsel. Hans far meldte ham til politiet, fordi han ikke gik i skole tre dage i træk. Jeg har prøvet breakdance. Det var meget godt. Og jeg lærte det. Det breakdance gør mig meget godt og komfortabelt. Når jeg føler breakdance, I don't feel like I was in jail. Uh, the many ways in which um, the children and the youth are benefiting from the uh, from the breakdance project or from breakdance project Uganda. First of all, we're building their self-esteem because we have a lot of people that are coming from marginalized communities, you know, disadvantaged backgrounds, and some of them are also coming from advantaged backgrounds. But I would say that in this world, everyone is disadvantaged and everyone is advantaged, depending on how you understand it. En anden af gruppens nye breakdancer er Fahadji. Han må låne naboens gummisko for ikke at danse i sine slitte klipklapper. The first time I came here, I was so scared that I find people all doing things which I never knew that I can do it now. But they they welcomed they welcomed me as a friend, and I started. In our background of family, we are poor. When I came here, I feel proud. When I come. Every, everything comes so, so good. We can do it on a count of two. Like, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And this is how it looks like when it's fast. You know, break dancing is not like very common here in Uganda, so it was a bit unique. Up to now, it's still unique. I løbet af de to år breakdance gruppen har eksisteret, har de rejst Uganda rundt og undervist alt fra tidligere børnesoldater og indsatte i fængsler til børn i slummen. Gruppen har gjort breakdance populært. When I was starting to dance, it was just for me as a person for, for the lab, but then. Um, after going all through all these like you know ups and downs in life, all the trials, I realized that it was more important than what I thought. It was more than just something that I wanted to do for fun. It was something that could 
change somebody's life. It was something that could transform people's lives, give them hope, and also give them something positive to look up to in life. This time I wasn't dancing for me. I was dancing for the people. I was da using dance to, to, to help communities, to uplift people in, in, in our communities. You know. So I'm not, that's why this time I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for everyone that can benefit in any way. I like to be a professional dancer. I dream about when I have gone to outside countries, doing my break dance. Yes. You step out. I'll have my right arm in the joint. I'll put my head down slowly. So when you put your head down, your legs go up automatically. And what happens next? I do that. And cut.